the winds of change are upon us, ladies and gentlemen. And patience is key for everything to come into place. Patiently waiting in the shadows was I, anticipating the moment that I could put my cards on the table. The moment I could change it all. 365 days plus it was since the time my scraps shattered the world. 365 days plus it was since the last time my scraps had the light shined upon itself. 365 plus days it was since the last time what I thought would be my winning success was in reality a dying failure. A year ago, Retrozerk was the ABW World's Champion. It was the moment that changed professional wrestling. Or so I thought. Or so I thought for 30 days until it wound up being a transitional failure. You see you people boo me because you, you do not understand. But if you were in my shoes, if you knew what I did, for it, you would have done the same thing in the end. Because imagine, at the brittle age of 77, you work 50 years in the scrapyard to construct a riddle to life's truest pleasures, to build a single empire in an artificial organism that would carry your labor for the rest of your life. That is what you people do not understand. You people boo me because somehow, some way, you managed to have feelings for little old Zerk boy. But what you don't understand is that Zerky doesn't give a damn about you in return. He is in my control and always has been in my control. And I am man enough to admit that for 50 years, my life's work went into something that had absolutely nothing to give in the end. In a nutshell, Retrozerk, the machine you choose to root for, was a walking, talking piece of junk ready to break at any second. A piece of crap that needed me to fix it time and time again that could never hold the ball for too long and when I saw his momentum his value diminish I knew that I had to do just that diminish my failure because in the end whether you want to admit it or not artificial intelligence will never lead our society. It will never do what we as humans can. Because like broken old bodies, it is only a matter of time before the thing becomes worthless. And it isn't worth the labor, the mistakes that I made. I failed in the end. You people are failing and cheering on a bot that soon won't have anything left. It only takes one mistake for someone to screw the entire plan up entirely. And I am at fault for it all. No robot can ever function the same way a human brain can. And what you saw, what you people saw what you can't stop talking about 
What you witnessed is my 50 years of work finally coming to fruition with the biggest fix of them all. You may have noticed my long hiatus from the 2K19 experience, and you may have deep down been asking yourself, where did Oxley go? Did Oxley die? Why is Oxley not by Retrozerk's side every week? And I answered those questions without saying a word. Because while I let Retrozerk roll until his wheels fell off, I crafted, single-handedly, the biggest invention in human history. Forged in black steel. Forged in war. Forged in prosperity. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Forge. What a promo and good God, man. I never thought I'd see the day. Jesus Christ, it's Forge! Oh. The first ever cyborg in human history. Forget your comic books. Forget your DC bullshit comics. Incels, it's real! And he's here. His full-on introduction at TDMT, what a way to do it. Retrozerk's replacement. He is a menacing no words. beast. What poor soul did he... They used to be a person. It still is, baby. No. No, it's not. The lore behind Forge, I'm excited to investigate, but as of now, all we know is Dr. Oxley's theory is human brains will never be beaten. And I feel like it's maybe just him in denial because he can't build the perfect robot. But the story is so simple, it's you've given up on a robot that's needed to be rebuilt many times, but I think this robot has its own mind of its own with no control. It could do its it could do to itself what Oxley had to do to Retrozerk. And there it is. Forge. What a debut-ish introduction. And we need to get back to the live scene, man.